what is up guys welcome back to 3drs pro and in today's video we are uh, going to be looking at xgen so to get started you can go into the xgen tab by clicking in this button over here and opening the xgen window from here it should appear right over here next to all of these tabs it's not showing up for you you can go into xgen from the workspace option as well if it's still not there for you you gotta go into windows setting preferences your uh, plugin manager and make sure that xgen is loaded okay once you do that it should appear for you and now what we're going to do is we're going to select our scalp we in the previous video we took that out and create a new description so we are going to call this the general hair area underscore description and for the collection collection is the collection so I'm using the collection as the same name for uh, the character you can name these things anything you want but uh, I've just kind of uh, keep my workflow clean so as to uh, remember what's what if you're uh, working with more than one character uh, you might get uh, confused if you had like collection one collection two or names like that so what this is is that I'm gonna give you a basic concept of what a collection and a description is so a collection can have multiple descriptions inside of it okay and each character can have one collection applied to it like I mean if you're uh, talking in general sense maybe there's some people out there that use multiple collections on a character for like intense amount of action control I don't know about that what I'm telling you is that this collection one can be character one and if you have more characters in your scene then each character is using a collection and each collection has like one two or three descriptions inside of it so that's what that is and we are going to be using the spine workflow for this because they are groomable and i found them to be easy to use and we are going to be using placing and shaping guides because we are going to be placing guides and then shaping them i mean the name itself kind of uh self-explanatory or so hit the create button and now we have a collection called fashionista collection right now there is nothing in our uh, preview and that's fine because in this video i just wanted to show you how you can create your uh, xgen collection and description if you expand this you have the first description right so like how i said that a collection can have multiple descriptions inside of it so any other descriptions we add are going to be like inside of this so here they're going to start showing up this is the fashionista character so this is her if we go into this and then all of her descriptions are going to show up over here all right if we had one more than one character then we could have switched to that collection from here and their description would start showing up over here i hope that uh makes you guys understand what i'm trying to talk about and in the next video we are going to be looking at uh the primitives tabs the previews so as to get you a little bit more acquainted with what we're trying to do okay so with that i'll see you guys in the next one